Thank you for setting aside a few minutes for this short presentation. We, the editorial staff at Clinical Chemistry, would like to provide you with several tips to assist you in navigating the manuscript submission process. We realize that your time is valuable, and we hope that this short presentation will help reduce any unnecessary delays in processing your submission. We recommend that all authors review the presentation at least once. BenchPress is an online manuscript submission and tracking system developed by Highwire Press. All submissions to clinical chemistry are tracked using BenchPress at the link shown. We use BenchPress to keep an eye on the progress of your manuscript from initial submission to final publication. Original articles are the most common submissions to clinical chemistry. Before submitting your original article, please consult the Information for Authors, or IFA, at this link. Most answers to author inquiries can be found there, as we have compiled all the pertinent information you need under different sections, such as Standards for Reporting Scientific Data, Tools for Diagnostic Accuracy, Description and Requirements for Different Types of Submissions, Journal Formatting Guidelines, and Bench Press Navigation. We encourage all authors to adhere as closely as possible to the IFA guidelines for original articles. Please submit your text file in .doc format. Please provide a structured abstract with separate headings of background, methods, results, and conclusions. Review the word count, reference count, figure count, and table count to ensure that they meet the limits for an article. Include all tables at the end of the main text file. And don't forget to prepare a 100-word audio summary. After submission, we may need to return your paper to your attention for the following reasons. If you uploaded your text file in PDF format, if you have an incomplete or missing title page, if your word count, your reference count, or your figure and table count are over the limit. These limits vary depending on the submission type. If you embedded tables, figures, figure legends, or supplemental material within the main text. If your figures are of low resolution. If the format of your references is incorrect. As noted in the previous slide, these details and guidelines are also available at the link shown. The information provided here is important for the submitting author, who is usually also the designated corresponding author. Only registered users can submit on BenchPress by logging in at the link shown. If you have used other BenchPress journals, do not repeat the registration process, but use the same email address and password to register with Clinical Chemistry. Although all BenchPress journals require the same email address and password for access, this is the only shared information. You will need to be registered individually with each journal you are trying to access. In addition, if there is already an existing account with an old email address, do not create a new account with a different email address. Simply access the account with the out-of-date email address and use the system to update or change your email address. Always use the same email address when accessing the system. Multiple email addresses will cause repeated registrations and the creation of duplicate accounts, which could lead to future system access problems. If you are not registered, please register at the link shown and verify your email address. Check your junk mail or spam folder if you have registered but have not received a verification email. Follow the instructions in the verification email to complete your registration. Details on registration are provided at the link shown. For your convenience, here is a helpful step-by-step -step guide to upload files on BenchPress. Log in at this link and proceed to your author area. Click on Submit New Manuscript. Fill out all applicable and required fields. If you are submitting an article, provide an audio summary of less than 100 words in the cover letter tab. In the Declarations tab, authors are asked about copyrighted material and material published elsewhere. If the submission contains adapted or reproduced tables, figures, or other materials, you must obtain written permission from the copyright holder and upload all permission paperwork during submission. Failure to do so may result in delays and, in some cases, serious copyright violations. If you are unsure whether permission is required, contact the editorial office for guidance. Complete your disclosure and contribution forms. Enter the number of figure files and the number of supplemental files to be uploaded. If there are none, leave the fields at zero. There should always be one for the manuscript file. Upload text and figure files. Tables should not be uploaded separately, but included at the end of the main text file. 
Supplemental material, including figures, tables, texts, and captions, must be uploaded separately as supplemental files. Written permissions for copyrighted material or material published elsewhere must also be uploaded as supplemental files. Please check your answers in the Declarations tab. Wait while the system generates a merged PDF for your text and figures. This process may take up to 15 minutes depending on file sizes. You will receive an email when the PDF is ready. Review the PDF, especially the appearance of the figures. If the figures are small or blurry in the PDF, you will need to increase the size or resolution of your images. Please note that supplemental files will not be a part of the merged PDF. After checking the PDF, check the references by clicking on the View Extracted References link on the Files tab. If you formatted the references correctly, most, but not necessarily all, journal citations will link to articles available in the Medline database or in journals hosted by Highwire Press. Submit your manuscript. Unless there are invalid email addresses, all authors will receive a confirmation email. Instructions and frequently asked questions on uploading files can be found at the links provided on this slide. After the manuscript is submitted, all authors are required to sign electronic disclosure and author contribution forms. In order for the forms to appear in your author area, you must be registered, and the email address provided by the corresponding author must match the email address for your account. Unregistered users can register at the link shown. If the forms do not appear after 15 minutes, refresh the page or log out and log back in. If this does not work, contact the editorial staff for assistance. Submissions are put on hold until all forms are completed. We will send three or more reminders, but please be aware that unresponsive authors or prolonged delays will cause withdrawal of partial submissions from bench press. Please note that our disclosure form is meant to encompass all disclosures of research funding or other relevant information, even if this information does not constitute a conflict of interest. To prevent delays, the corresponding author should ensure that any and all grants or other forms of research funding, consulting relationships, and other disclosures are included in the author disclosure forms and should avoid listing these in the acknowledgments or elsewhere in the text of the manuscript file. In the event of acceptance, this information is typically deleted from the text and moved into the disclosure portion. Exceptions will be made if your institution requires funding to be listed in the acknowledgement as well as in the disclosures. For this reason, it should be clear which authors received any grants or other funding, or if funding was given to the entire study group or to your institution. If you have questions about how to provide your disclosures, please contact the editorial office. Failure to include relevant information in the disclosure form will result in additional delays with your submission. Your submission will move on to quality check after all authors complete disclosure forms. At this point, the editorial staff will do a brief but thorough review to make sure that the submission adheres to the guidelines outlined in the information for authors. As we have already covered the list of violations in slides 3 and 4, we will not repeat them again here. Please refer to those slides for an overview of violations where we will need to return the submission to your attention. Only the corresponding author will receive the notification that the submission requires additional changes. To edit the submission, log into the author area, go to Papers Return for your attention, click on Edit Submission, and upload the revised files. Review the PDF and then submit the corrected manuscript. As with disclosures, submissions are put on hold until all issues are resolved. We will send one friendly reminder, but unresponsive authors, or prolonged delays, will cause withdrawal of the partial submissions from bench press. After the corrected manuscript is submitted, the editorial staff will check your submission again to ensure that the manuscript is ready to proceed to the next stage. All authors will receive an email when their manuscript is released to the editor. For your convenience, we have compiled a list of helpful links on this slide. Thank you for paying attention to this presentation. Like you, we would like to ensure a quick turnaround time from first submission to final decision. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact the editorial staff at clinchemed at aacc.org.